What is racketeering? Well, this is derived from the word racket, and it's used to mean criminal activity that extorts money from individuals or businesses by way of cheating. So you're creating a racket, if you will. You're cheating them. So you can think of it as any organized activity that involves illegal operation of business that is normally done together with the purpose of extorting or coercing value from those individuals. So it's generally a combination or re of repeated acts or pattern that you use in order to cheat people. So you commonly business enterprises or criminal enterprises had these repeated actions or patterns in order to create a scheme for extorting value from single individual or multiple individuals. So that would be an example of racketeering. Some specific examples, uh, mafia activity. The mafia was famous for threatening business owners uh, to make payments to them for protection when they themselves were creating the potential for harm. So in essence, you were simply paying them not to harm them or break up their store or and in the same vein uh, if any other criminal element befell the store they would act on their behalf so in that way uh, the mafia was creating the problem and solving the problem so and extorting money from people so that was criminal activity uh, hacking and ransoming is a common form of racketeering today in that uh, computer hackers will hack into a system and extort money from the other side in order to retrieve their data, things of that nature. So it's, um, again, it's a repeated act where multiple hackers oftentimes work in concert together to do it. So this pattern is known as racketeering. Now, the racketeering was primarily addressed first in the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organization Act, the RICO Act in 1970. And the primary purpose of it was to address the drug trade and the racketeering that happened there in uh, everything from producing the drugs to bringing it into the country to shipping and then distributing it you had all of these uh, individuals involved kind of in a way micro businesses that were involved in this whole production and distribution process and RICO served to break those up or to tie these individuals together because they were acting together as a common enterprise even though it was a lot of individuals uh, acting individually. So with that being said, this is uh, racketeering, how it applies under criminal law and some examples of when you uh, will witness or see racketeering.